The line between mental coercion and voluntary consent is blurred. The stealthy mental coercion turns man into a meat conformist. The masses go through intense psychological coercion by repeated propaganda and physical degradation through isolation, closing gyms, and encouraging drug use. Mental coercion is a valuable tool for the overlords. The masses are subject to massive fictions and even intelligent people succumb. The masses become mentally blind. They become unable to see the mental coercion happening. Most will be unable to step back and view it in hindsight. It's unclear who has succumbed to mental coercion and who agrees with it or thinks they are mistakes. This is a long process of systematic indoctrination. Once the hypnosis is complete, non-statists have been turned into statists and repeat the propaganda. Man is the most intelligent animal and can't easily be conditioned. This intelligence makes it difficult to keep him conditioned. The terrorized victims can be continued to be conditioned through a number of different techniques. Official truths are then imprinted on his mind. Critical thought is not something that can be wiped clean. How is this overcome? Stress. The creation of stress makes the response become part of the nervous system. If they are not turned into outright statist, they are turned into statist sympathizers. He believes his tormentors have his best interest at hand and are guided by morals. This is similar to a Stockholm syndrome, but is much more of a logical castration. Time, fear, and intense pressure is what castrates you logically. The brainwashi is hypnotized and lives in a trance. Stress is used to keep it this way. The masses don't realize this is happening. The overlords will attempt to consolidate and maintain this mental state. The masses attempt to escape this through artificial pleasures. These artificial pleasures reinforce the mental coercion. Free men in a free society must learn not only to recognize this stealthy attack on mental integrity and fight it, but must learn also what there is inside man's mind that make him vulnerable to this attack.